Well, good morning. Happy Friday, Scouters Mountain students and families. We missed you on Wednesday. It was Veterans Day, of course. So it's our first morning messages in a while. Have some Monday and now have them again on Friday. We missed you on Wednesday. Hope you had a great day off from school. Had a chance to honor those people who served our country and currently do serve our country. But welcome to Friday. It is Friday the 13th. That's kind of spooky. Hey, remember what happened the last time we had a Friday the 13th? The last Friday the 13th we had was Friday, March 13th, and we didn't come to school that day because of a growing pandemic, and guess what? We have not back, been back in school since, which is why we continue to do the morning messages. I wish I could do these in front of all of you on the loudspeaker at school, but we'll do them this way on a computer. So much fun for you, for me, to see you each morning. Hopefully you're having a great week and having a great day today. Despite the rain, as I look outside, it is starting to let up. I look on the forecast, it looks like 50% or so chance of rain almost all day long. So Mr. Long, what do we need to know today on this Friday the 13th? Well, let me tell you what you should know. As I've said all week long and all month long, November, it's a busy month here at Scouters. This month, we still have our annual day of giving. Now remember, you can come in and turn in your kindness kits, your cookie kits, those are next week, next Tuesday and Thursday on our supply pickup days. I need you to come in and drop those things off. We'll separate them for you. We'll get them to the right places for you. I know lots of you have been working hard on those so you can contribute to our community. We also have report cards coming up. That is one week from today. Guess what? In one week, next Friday, your family will be able to open up your report card electronically in an app called Parent View. Now, parents, if you're watching this, you're not sure what that is, make sure you contact the office. All of you should have a Parent View account where you can view those kind of things, report cards. And then the following week on Monday and Tuesday, the 23rd and the 24th of November, just before Thanksgiving, those are parent-teacher conferences. Also, you can sign up for those electronically. If you haven't done that yet, we need to make sure we get you signed up for a 15-minute conference. Uh, and you'll do that through your student's Google Classroom. That'll be right there. That's where the conference will be. You'll sign up online. Your teacher sent a, should have sent home a link. I'm sure they have. If you're not sure about how to do that, or if kids, if you're watching this, ask your family, hey, do we have a conference set up, mom or dad? Did you know we can get our report cards on one week from now, next Friday, the 20th? Make sure your family knows that so you can tune into all that kind of stuff. As we've been talking about all month, November is National Native American Heritage Month. We've been celebrating Native Americans, not only in our school, but across our state and across our region, many cultures and customs that we've been learning about. We'll learn a little bit more today and uh, not a whole lot of days left in November, at least when we're at school. So we'll try to get some more of National Native American Heritage Month. I've been very impressed with what kids have come up with and sent to me everything that they've learned so far this month. As I mentioned before, your report cards are coming up next Friday. That means teachers have a day to work on your report cards. It seems like they should have more than just one day. They get one day to work on your report cards, all the work that you've done so far this term. They'll be doing that next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, which I believe is the 18th, no school again, just like no school on Veterans Day this Wednesday, no school again on Wednesday. That means no morning meetings because teachers will be spending all day long working on your report cards, making sure they're all ready to go and ready to be found online on the following Friday. Also, with report cards coming up, remember, and I don't want you to get too worried about this, but you do get a grade in music and PE. You get a participation grade. Not a letter grade, not a number grade. You just get a participation. Did they participate in music and PE? So make sure when you log in to the music and PE Google Classrooms that Mrs. Carter or Mr. Harrison that you're marking off that, yes, I did that assignment. I completed it. I, did, I marked it as done. Make sure you mark it as done so you get credit for being in there. Also, if you still want to make a cookie kit or a kindness kit for our day of giving, you didn't get a chance to pick one up at our supply pickups in the last couple of weeks, Drop by the office, you've still got a little bit of time. They're due on Tuesday and Thursday. So you could either come today or on Monday. You could even come on Tuesday or Wednesday. You'd have to turn it around pretty quick and get it in by Thursday of next week. So if you still wanna participate in our day of giving, and we have lots of families making cookie kits or kindness kits for people in our area who could really use those around the holidays, drop by the office. We'll make sure we get you the materials, whether they are empty plastic bags or a box you may need to use. We have all of that stuff. We'll get it to you. If you have questions, you can always email Mr. Long. Lots of you do that. I love hearing from you all day long. There's the email address right there, longc at inclac.k12.or. 
us. Always love hearing from you. Got a great email yesterday from one of the students who just wanted to show off what she was having for lunch. She had a very fancy lunch for a Thursday. Love getting those kind of emails. Thanks, Sari, for sending that. And uh, always makes my day to hear from kids because I don't get to see you during the day now. I have to see you on screen. So the more videos and the more emails you send me, photos, always love getting those. Makes my day. So make sure you send them in right there at that email address. Who has been celebrating a birthday this week? Well, most of them have already celebrated it. Neo and Sophie had birthdays on Monday. Hopefully they had a great birthday. Then on Tuesday was Elizabeth Tomac from fifth grade. She had a great birthday, I'm sure. Then yesterday, Bryn Walter from fourth grade. Uh, great to see her on screen. I'm sure she had a great birthday. And then today, happy birthday, Evie Small from kindergarten, who undoubtedly turns six today, I would guess. Happy sixth birthday, Evie. Happy birthday today. And we'll get to next week's birthday next week. Uh, again, November's a little bit short, so some of you will have to make sure we get your birthday on the screen. Could be during a week we don't have school and we just have conferences and then holiday break. So we'll make sure we get you up here. But happy birthday to all five of those Scouters Mountain Coyotes who are celebrating a birthday this week. Remember the last daily challenge that we had, Veterans Day, was this past Wednesday. How did you show your appreciation for people who have served our country? Send Mr. Long a photo or a video telling him about it. We got lots of great submissions on this one of people who celebrated Veterans Day. There's Lucas and Liam, neighbors in their on their street. They're making cards for veterans or making some posters, little signs. Great job. Look at all those. It looks like fancy markers off to the side. So great job by those two who took some time out of their day. And looks at Lucas has a Navy sweatshirt on honoring the Naval Academy. Great job by those two boys. Thanks for that picture. There's Genevieve who spent some time making a card after she was done with her first grade distance learning, made that card for a neighbor and actually called some relatives as well, but delivered that card to her neighbor. Her neighbor was so touched that he put it on Facebook of what a great neighbor that he has and so proud of Genevieve. That was very nice for you to do. The neighbor said that is the first card he's ever gotten for Veterans Day. So thanks Genevieve for taking time to make that. Look at that front tooth is still knocked out. Remember, we knocked that out with the gummy worms from the ice cream that she got a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully that adult tooth starts to grow in very soon. And like the hair clip, the patriotic hair clip, great job, Genevieve from first grade. Here's Kate Jansen, who turned in a Google Doc to me. It says, Veterans Day is a day to remember and honor those who have fought and made sacrifices for our freedoms. I thank my grandpa Jansen, my uncle Jack, my uncle Bert, and my uncle Reese for their service. And thank you to all of them, Jack, Burt, Reese, and Grandpa Jansen. Thank you for your service in serving our country. Great job by Kate Jansen, as always, to turn that in from fifth grade. Nicely done. And then Nikhil also turned something in. Now, I got to turn up the volume on this because I didn't realize it until I put it in the show here that he actually added some volume. Listen to this. Oh, it didn't come through. But if you could hear it. And the Star Spangled Banner playing in the background. Sometimes the sound doesn't work quite right. But on the back and on the slide here, there is the Star Spangled Banner playing. You just can't hear it. But Nikhil, great job making that slide and singing it, sending it in to me. Some of you kids know how to make slides very well. You've learned how to do that. If you just want to send me a Google slide, I can put it right into the show here. That's what Nikhil did. It's a bummer we can't hear the Star Spangled Banner behind there. But he did put it in there. I thought that was pretty cool. As we mentioned before... It is Native American Heritage Month, and we've been talking about Native American traditions, and we talked about how their celebrations usually often celebrate nature, spiritual world, ancestors. They can have holidays that might honor the sun, the rain, or crops needed to live. Many of these holidays last for a week rather than a single day, and we've been talking about celebrations. It doesn't have to be Native American celebrations. Nikhil sent in something about Diwali that his family celebrates. That's an Indian holiday. It's an Indian festival celebrating the victory of light over darkness and good over eel, evil, not eel, evil. This year, it's on November 14th, which is tomorrow. So happy Diwali to those of you that celebrate that holiday. And Nikhil says in his family, we spend lots of time together as a family, and we have lots of fun. Now, remember, I read a story to you earlier in the morning messages about a week ago. This is one of the pages that says, on the fifth and final day of Diwali, we celebrate brothers and sisters. The lifelong bond between siblings is special, and we honor that. So I thought for this daily challenge, which will be due on Monday, you can turn this in on Monday, in the spirit of celebrating brothers and sisters, 
and World Kindness Day, which is today, by the way, it is World Kindness Day on Friday the 13th. Do something extra special for a sibling this weekend. Send Mr. Long a photo or a video of you with your sibling or siblings. Now I know what some of you are asking, Mr. Long, I don't have a brother or sister. That's okay. Send something of uh, you doing something nice for someone who is like a brother or sister to you. Maybe a friend, maybe a neighbor, maybe mom or dad. You could count them as your sibling. I want everyone to participate. If you don't have a brother or sister, you can certainly participate. Send a picture or a video of you doing something nice for that extra special person in your life. Could be mom, dad, Definitely, if it's a brother or sister, I always love getting those sibling pictures, the whole family pictures. You can send those as well. Can't wait to get those today and over the weekend because I know some of you don't get to the morning messages until Saturday or Sunday. That's just fine. Looking forward to seeing lots of those. There's where you email them to right there. There's the email address. You know that by now. But looking forward to seeing lots of family pictures and sibling pictures. And remember, if you don't have a sibling, that's okay. Choose someone who is like a sibling to you. Could be a friend, could be a neighbor. Could be mom or dad, doesn't matter to me. Give me those pictures of you doing something nice for a sibling or someone who is like a sibling to you. Looking forward to getting those. Videos are always fun too. If you can send me a video, those are always fun to receive. We can put them right here on the morning messages. Name that Scouters Mountain Elementary staff member. All right, who was this mystery staff member who did not have her own classroom? Favorite fast food is Chick-fil-A. Favorite hobbies include camping, skiing, gardening and traveling that's an important one because this staff member actually isn't even at school she took the year off so she could travel with her family and her family members are doing their distance learning from the rv they've got wi-fi in the rv favorite snacks include anything from starbucks coffee here's your big hint not a teacher but works with many students if she were here at school and if we were here at school and the last name her last name is a very important tool for builders hmm who could this be? We don't have Mrs. Screwdriver. We don't have Mrs. Hacksaw. Who is this whose last name is a very important tool for builders? Well, I didn't tell you because some of you figured it out. Now, I know this would be very difficult for those of you who have not been in our building yet. You haven't had a chance to meet this person because she's not working with us this year. She'll be back with us next year. Kate got it, though. Kate Jansen from fifth grade. Look at all the gardening tools right there. There's the hammer, a little skier. And there's the RV. I wonder if that, that looks just like the Hammers RV. I wonder if that's actually theirs. They're off on different adventures. But she said it was Mrs. Hammer. That is correct. And then watch what Nikhil did here. This is going to make you dizzy. Look out. Here comes Nikhil's answer. Whoa! The mystery staff member is Mrs. Hammer. I love how he did that. So some of you are really good at making these slides. I don't know how to do that, how you make something spin around like that. Let's watch that again. I want to see that again. Here, do it again. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Let's see. Whoa! Nice job, Nikhil. Okay, so the mystery staff member is, of course, Mrs. Hammer. There's Mrs. Hammer there having some fun in her backyard when she was home on the trampoline, waving to everybody. Be careful, Mrs. Hammer. Don't hit your head. Great job. It's always fun to see her. Hopefully, she's having a great vacation time. She'll be back with us next year out on the playground and in the cafeteria for sure. So who solved that mystery? Well, I knew it would be a tough one. So Nikhil and Kate both got it. They sent in their slides to me. And remember, if you get it, you can just email me the answer. You don't have to make a fancy slide. Just email me the answer. And here is our next Scouters Mountain Elementary mystery staff member. Who is this one? Her classroom is now on the second floor. Okay. It didn't used to be. It was on the first floor last year. It's now on the second floor, which a lot of you wouldn't know because you haven't been in the building yet. Favorite fast food is Wendy's. Favorite hobbies include reading, hiking, and camping. Now, that's interesting based on your clue that you're going to get here pretty soon. Her favorite snacks include anything chocolate. And then her big hint, she teaches a small group of kids. So her classroom is a smaller group. And her last name sounds like a hiking tool for holding water. So what is a hiking tool for holding water? Well, it kind of looks like one of those. Anybody know what that is? That is called a canteen. Now, a lot of people just carry around fancy water bottles now. When in the older days, that's what they used to carry around to keep water cold right there. That's a canteen. So this person's name sounds like that, a canteen. Do you know who that is? Well, I'm not going to tell you right now. See if you can look that up. Some of you I know go right to the website and look up the list of teachers. Who is our mystery staff member this week on Friday the 13th? You can email that to me at longc at 12org 
Us. All right, time to wrap up today's show with the joke of the day, as we always do. I could use some more jokes, kids. And finally, finally, I get one from a fifth grader who I know does these in their classroom. I know Mrs. Webke's kids do these quite often. Send them in to me. I need some more jokes. Last time I had to use the reader boards joke. If you've driven by the school, there's a joke on the reader board right now. Hopefully, I get some more over the weekend. I need some more good jokes. Send them in to me. You can send multiple ones if you want to. Some of you have gotten them off of popsicle sticks before. Make sure you send me your joke. The, even better, send me a video of you telling the joke, which is even more fun. Anna asks from fifth grade today, what has four eyes but can't see? Four eyes but can't see. One, two, three, four, but still can't use them to see. I don't know, Anna. What does have four eyes but cannot see? Ah, Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S there are the four eyes, but I don't think Mississippi can see. It's not human. It's a state, of course. So great job, Anna. Make sure you send in your joke of the day. If you have one, make sure you email it to me, or even better, send a video of you telling it to me. Always love to receive those as well. And you got all weekend to do that because it is Friday the 13th. Time to wrap up the show. Hopefully you have a great day today. As I mentioned, Friday the 13th, don't get too spooked out today. Get your distance learning done. Enjoy the weekend. Hopefully you have great weekend plans. Hopefully the rain lets up. It's still raining as I record this right now. But when I looked at the forecast, it was like half and half chance of rain throughout the rest of the day. So hopefully you get a chance to get outside and get some fresh air. Enjoy your Friday, everyone. Send me those photos. Send me those videos. Can't wait to see them and have a great weekend. We'll see you right back here on The Morning Messages on Monday.